We turn now to our weekly segment, TikTok, where we take a closer look at the story behind the sensation. There are two million followers on TikTok, know them as the app's favorite interabled couple. Paul Castle is shining a light on the challenges of retinitis pigmentosa, an untreatable eye disease. Yet, he's authored and illustrated two children's books, The Secret Ingredient and The Pen Grooms, which initially sold out in days. His husband, Matthew Castle, is his biggest supporter. Let's take a look. Paul, it's here. What, it's finally what, here. What, what is it's, we have been waiting months for this. How do you even open this thing? Deep breath. This is the second book. This is the advanced copy. You're seeing it for the first time. As much as you can. As much as I can see, I'm right? I'm for the first time. Matthew, I'm scared I'm gonna cut myself. I put blood, sweat, and tears into this book. You think I'm kidding? No, I bled. The walls that I ran into. <laughs> What an exciting moment there, guys. Matthew and Paul, so kind <laughs> to join us now. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. We're excited to be here. So, Paul, first off, congratulations on having two successful children's books already under your belt. Just yesterday, we know you launched a Kickstarter for your new book, Adoroscopes, already securing full funding. What in start yes. inspired you to start illustrating and writing? Well, I've always been passionate about art and creativity and telling stories. And that started long before I was diagnosed with an untreatable eye disease. And when I received that diagnosis, you know, I was already just so passionately involved in my uh, pursuit of creating uh, beautiful illustrations that I decided like, this isn't gonna stop me. But it was when I met my husband, Matthew, he really sort of instilled me with the courage to like do, put that out there and share it with the world and pursue this thing that I was really excited to do, which was to to create children's books. And so, as you just mentioned, we just, we're, we're uh, publishing our third now and we have many more planned. <laughs> Well, your characters are just so fun and, and vivid and bright and delightful. So thank you for what you're creating. I understand that you've lost 90% of your vision, but you make art that you can sti still see, calling it Paul's vision. Uh, do you feel a drive to, to make more art before the potential onset of, of complete blindness? Yeah, so I have, yeah, my disease is untreatable and it's progressive. So I certainly do feel that little bit of race against time. My vision today is sort of like looking through a straw and the rest of my vision is filled with static mm. and it's also darker and a little blurry, but I have that little pinhole of vision through which I'm able to create these illustrations and we don't really know how much longer I can do something like that. And Matthew, tell us what it's been like to, to support Paul and, and create content together. Oh, it's been an amazing journey. You know, when we started, uh, when I first met Paul, he was still able to paint traditionally, uh, paintbrush, paint on a canvas. And during our years together, he I saw him reach a frustration point where he could no longer do that. We couldn't get enough bright lights around him in order for him to still see paint on a canvas. And that's when we turned to tablets. He can turn the brightness all the way up. There are lots of accessibility features so he can still create his beautiful art for as long as is possible. And in addition to creating your art, you both are known for pulling some serious pranks and, and, and say that it's your mission <laughs> to educate people about blindness. How do you balance humor while at the same time making sure that the message comes across? Oh, that's a great question. I mean, humor is just a very big part of our relationship. Matthew is a natural born prankster. And very, very early in our relationship, he he's, he started to prank me in ways that I think you can really only get away with uh, because of my blindness, because there's so much that I cannot see. And so I found it so delightful, so funny. And I was actually just sort of heartened by the fact that my disability rather than bring a burden or any negative to the relationship was bringing something positive. And so we really, we, Matthew and I started to share that aspect of our relationship publicly, which of course got a lot of viral attention. <laughs> and while we have our audience's attention, we've made it really an important part of what we do is the sort of the advocacy of what it is like to be in an inter interabled relationship and what it is like to be navigating blindness. And, and Matthew, how do you respond, though, to those who may see these pranks as, as something negative against the disabled community? You know, I, I, I have said several times 
You don't want to prank a blind person that you don't know. In fact, I recommend you be married to them before you prank them. <laughs> it was Paul's kind of delight when I first started pranking him right. that told me like, oh, I can keep doing this, <laughs> yeah. you know? And uh, I've just made sure that I, I never publicly embarrass him. If anybody's embarrassed, it's me. Uh, last time was because I wore a hot dog suit through a grocery <laughs> store, but <laughs> it took me a long time to notice he was wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Matthew and Paul, what fun to talk with you all today. Really appreciate you joining us. And to our viewers, you can check out the couple on TikTok Thank at you. Matthew and Paul for humor, love, and literary ventures. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.